Hi everyone. Well, it's now December 17. Day after day after day, the world just becomes more and more insane. Insane. Miss Universe. First transgender contestant rocks the runway. Rave reviews. Rave reviews in mainstream media. Um, but anyone who believes that this transgender woman or is a transgender man to woman believes that this was fair and that she or he deserved to win is out of their flipping mind. Miss Spain's Angela Ponce, the first openly transgender contestant in the 66th year, the 66 year history of Miss Universe pageant is getting rave reviews for her bikini body, runaway glamour, and message of inclusion. Yes, this is Miss Spain. Digo, no, a mí no me convirtió en, en una mujer tener una vagina. Yo soy una mujer desde antes de nacer porque mi identidad que está aquí y no ahí me determinó que yo era una mujer. La responsabilidad que yo siento que tengo es que no solamente represento a la mujer española, a la mujer de mi país, sino que represento a mucha diversidad de mujeres y a mucha diversidad del ser humano en el mundo que se siente identificado conmigo, con mi vida, porque quién no ha sufrido prejuicios, quién no ha tenido que enfrentarse al bullying o quién no ha tenido que enfrentarse a alguna situación de discriminación en su vida. Ok, United. Nations driven, free and equal. Launched 2013, Obama years. While Obama was dropping bombs with his drone strikes, killing innocent children and the elderly, innocent civilians, this Nobel Peace Prize winner and a lot of Nobel laureates asked the Nobel Commission to take away his prize because he is not about peace. And he clearly showed that through his eight years as the United States president. But the Nobel Commission never did take away that prize. And that the Nobel Commission gave Obama the Nobel Peace Prize when he hadn't deserved it at all because the Nobel Commission was just looking uh, forward. Yeah. It's all staged. The prizes, the awards, the Miss Universe, Miss Spain, transgender, it is all rigged for an agenda. So while Obama was killing innocent people, in the Middle East and destroying countries while he was telling Americans he was pulling troops out. Um, <laughs> what, is, what is the number one priority of the United Nations? International peace. But they allowed Obama to drop those bombs. The United Nations. Uh, one of their responsibilities is to make sure to ensure that every country abide by international law, and they never do. They allow the United States in particular to break international law all the time. But they thought, the United Nations thought, let's put our energies towards a new agenda program, free and equal. I appeal to all governments and societies to build a world where no one has to be afraid because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres. You know what? That is beautiful. 
Yeah, let people just be who they are. But what this agenda has done is forced upon all people the their way. In other words, they have denied the rights of individuals while handing over rights to transgender, homosexuals, you know, oh, let's make bathrooms um, no longer women and men. Oh, it's offensive. So we're just going to allow anybody to walk into a bathroom. Well, that then makes a lot of parents afraid with their girls using public bathrooms. So there's a purpose. There's a, an agenda behind everything. And if you read through this on this one page, United Nations page, uh, in July 2013, the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights launched United Nations Free and Equal, an unprecedented global United Nations public information campaign aimed at promoting equal rights and fair treatment of the LGBTI. What's I? I don't know what I is. God. Um, in 2017, United Nations Free and Equal reached 2.4 billion social media feeds around the world and generated a stream of widely shared materials, including powerful videos, impactful graphics, and plain language fact sheets. Several campaign videos, including a popular Bollywood-themed clip, The Welcome, ranked among the most watched videos ever produced by the United Nations. National United Nations Free and Equal campaigns and events have been organized in almost 30 countries with visible support from the United Nations, political community, religious leaders, and from celebrities in all regions of the world. It is an agenda that is deliberate and forced upon everyone. And again, let me say this loud and clear. I have no judgment whether you're heterosexual, homosexual, transgender. I believe that people are allowed to live how they want to live as long as they harm no one and no one should harm someone for how they want to live. But these deliberate agendas are forcing upon people a manner of living in which many people don't want to live. So these agendas actually set up uh, conditions that make people angry, hateful, sometimes violent. This doesn't help the transgender or homosexual community. It actually hurts them because you're forcing upon other people a way that they have to live. Yeah, it makes me angry because it's achieving the exact opposite of what they claim they want to achieve. No more bullying, no more violence, everybody be accepted. Well, guess what? You know, uh, if we could just live in a world where people didn't have to force their way, weren't control freaks, uh, didn't lie, um, and lived the principles that they speak and lived in accordance with natural law, that they did not harm their actions, their footprint in life did not harm other people. Well, this world would be a pretty good place to live. But instead, 
because the human race is so walking the low road. And it's not just due to all of the poisons that we are subjected to and the frequencies and the mind control and the programming and the conditioning. It's also because individuals uh, that comprise the human race are not doing anything to make themselves better individuals. They just walk the low road. And I am tired of it. So this United Nations Free and Equal campaign is an initiative of the United Nations Human Rights Office and implemented with support from United Nations and non-United Nations partners at the country level. A number of celebrities have been named. Equality, uh, this campaign, equality champions. People think that this just is organic and it's coming out of, oh, uh, these celebrities who really, really care. Bullshit. It's all organized from the top down. <clears throat> and that top is the United Nations that is reshaping the world the way they want the world to operate. So who was part of this? Ricky Martin, um, a African musician, Yvonne Shaka Shaka, Bollywood actress, Selena, uh, I don't know, Jaitley, Brazilian pop star, Daniel, Daniela Mercury and her wife, Malo Vercusa Mercury, U.S. hip-hop duo, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, other prominent supporters taking part in this campaign, the South African Arch Archbishop uh, Desmond Tutu, Martina Navratilova, Jason Collins, Zachary Quinto, Melissa Etheridge, uh, I don't even, I don't know a lot of these people, but um, 2016, in the margins of the high-level week, at the start of the new General Assembly session, United Nations Free and Equal supported a ministerial meeting on the protection of the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender people organized with a core group, LGBT core group at the United Nations featured speakers, uh, Ban Ki-moon, Joe Biden. We're right there. You, know, you can check out the progress from uh, the year 2013 to 2014 and then onward to 2017. Yeah, 20s, they always have their progress reports. United Nations Progress in Sustainable Development progress and free and equal um, it's hard to take again um, homosexuals have been a part of the human race from the start um, whatever one thinks about you know transgender people whether it is, you know, something that they need to work out. I don't know. I can't judge. I don't, you know, I, I can speculate all day long. But I'm not anybody who has ever been uh, confused about her sex. And never did I ever, you know, even when I was a tomboy, uh, you know, before the age of 10, I was very much a tomboy. But did I want to be a boy? No. I didn't have that in me. There are people who genuinely have that in them. Where did it come from? I don't know. I don't know. But they are human beings and they have a right to be respected and not hated for who they are. That being said, the world's people have a right to live freely and not have forced upon them an agenda 
that is telling them how they have to live, how they have to speak. You know, Canada have their laws that actually, um, I don't know, subject people to fines or prosecution for calling somebody a he when the person identifies as a she. You don't see this as extreme? Very extreme. And, you know, these pictures, if you see John Kerry, they have been all over the place. Look, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, they've got the YouTube videos. Um, they instruct people on, you know, how to make videos and If you actually knew me, you would know that I'm actually somebody who needs diversity in my life. I need, and that's one of the greatest things about living in South Carolina for me. I, I actually need to live around black people, people who have, uh, who come from, uh, maybe it's just because I grew up in New York, but I know a lot of New Yorkers who don't feel as I do. But I need, I need diversity because I get bored with me and then meeting a lot of me's in the world. So, I am... I am not somebody who has one bad feeling or anything bad to say about any, any human being, regardless of color, race, uh, uh, religion, sexuality, nothing. I just don't like. being forced into a position where I have to capitulate to a to a tiny group of people who demand that I change my ways and if I don't then I'm hateful and I am uh, I'm evil and I am a bully and I'm, I'm whatever. I'll link below to all of this, but you know what? If we can't put a stop to these deliberate agendas and, you know, look, they have been so brilliantly orchestrated. Because if you say anything, if you say anything, even me saying, you know, and expressing anger, my outrage at these deliberate agendas, there's an awful lot of people who will not hear me say that I have no problem with how anybody wants to live as long as they're not harming other people in the process. They will still come at me and attack me. It's brilliant. You're a bully if you don't go along with the United Nations free and equal. Well, I don't go along with it. And I am not a bully. And I am not hateful. All links are below.